<laughs> Say it. You're lucky I will knock your phone out. What's your, your name? Head. Where do you live? I will knock your head off. Oh, really? I will knock your head off. For just standing Keep here. Keep playing with me. I'm not doing anything. I'm standing here. But I'm just standing here. Keep playing with me. I will knock your head off. No. Knock your head off. No. Keep don't playing do with me. Don't do that. God, I got, leave me alone. Leave me alone. Don't, don't touch do me because do this that. is going to the news. I don't care. Do what you got to do. You have a kid. You don't, don't care? I don't care. You don't should not have push her or wet over her. I did not touch your kid. Target could check their cameras. Her. Take care. You should not have went over for this, her. Right? You don't care? You don't you care if you go to prison. You should not have went over her. You don't care if you don't go to prison. I don't care. So let's get this straight. Because I didn't say. Oh, okay. You don't care. Because you didn't say excuse me. You're obviously violent. Because you didn't say excuse me. Touching my phone. This is being recorded. I don't care. So you're violent. I don't care. Okay. What's your name? This is my name. Yeah, it, it definitely is. But what's your, with your kid? I feel. What do you do to her at home? If this is what you do to strangers. To her at home. If you hit strangers, you what no do you do to your manners. kid? You have no manners. Look at this you kid. She's terrified. Said, excuse me. Look at your beautiful she's daughter. Terrified. She's terrified. She's not terrified. Yes, you should have said excuse me. So because That's so fine. You, so let's say let's no, say I didn't you, say excuse me. You go quiet. hit strangers. Be quiet. You okay. should have said excuse me. So this is the woman. You don't have manners. This is a woman is. in Target on Flatbush and Avenue I. You don't have manners. And I'm going to give this to the cops. I don't care. Go They'll ahead. They'll find do you. Do. They'll find do you. Do what you have to do. So you what are you going to tell them? Excuse me. Point blank. I'm Point glad blank. everyone's going to watch and this. And I'm, I'm about to hit you. I'm about to knock your whole head off. Say this. So keep playing with me. I'm keep not playing, playing with anything. me. I'm about to knock your whole entire head off. Keep playing with me. Keep playing with me. Keep playing with me. Yes, please do. Please get security. I'm asking you to please get security. Keep with me. You should have said excuse me, point blank, simple. Should have said excuse me. Okay, so that because I didn't say excuse me when I needed something. You didn't say excuse me and you reached over her. Okay, you so I reached over, over to get a yes, shampoo. You were over her, like just reaching to get a shampoo. Okay. You said excuse me and I would have moved her. Okay. You don't have no so because I didn't say excuse yeah, me, you're knocking people up. Yeah, because you didn't say excuse me. Okay, no problem. Let the well, cops decide. Okay. What well, I'm capable yeah, of. So this is what I'm capable. Okay, so you're done or you're continuing? I don't know. You're done or you're continuing? Cause tell me when to hit stop. She's not terrified. She's perfectly fine. She's not terrified. You see all these adults, the way they're looking at you? You're gonna stop? I'm ignorant. Okay, fine. So I'm gonna call the cops on you now. No problem. No problem. I'm calling them right now. So, you guys know how much I love going to Target. You guys know how much I always talk about what I get there. I will believe not there. Never walk into that place again. Never. Because of how the people who work there responded to the situation. And regarding what I was saying with the rabbis and the rabbis and say, and I will ask all of you who go there. For me... If you could just shop there last for yourself as a Jewish person. It's, it's so scary, guys. How situations, we feel so comfortable here in America. We feel like we blend. We feel like we, we are never, ever going to fit in and be safe anywhere. Until Mashiach comes and we're all in Israel. And every person, I guess, eventually gets this awakening as a Jewish person. And I had mine today. And it's not even in regards to that woman. That woman was a crazy, psychotic woman who obviously is not normal. And I had her on camera. And when I called the cops, I thought that I am going to call the cops. I have this woman. Literally, she had to be pulled away. You can see it on camera because she was threatening me. And of course, the cops, I mean, of course, they're going to come to my aid, right? They're going to come help me right away. No. No, they're not. Okay, so I don't know if all the stories are going to be uploaded because I know Instagram messes with stories sometimes when there's too many. So basically, I called the cops and you would think I have this video. What is there even a question? No, it doesn't work like that. They're not coming to my aid so quickly. And that's when I realized. I was like, we have no one but Hashem. No one, no cops. It doesn't matter if you know the captain of whatever. It doesn't matter if you're friends with the mayor. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It can help you in certain situations, but we have Hashem. And that's it. Hashem and ourselves and the Torah. And that's it. And it's so sad, guys, that it takes situations like this 
to make us as Jews realize this. And throughout the years, that's what happens. It's when we see that the Goyim turn our back on us that that's when we realize that, wait, we're not like them. And I realized that today. The cops came, first of all, zero empathy. And the reason, by the way, I've won a million times of coming on this way. I don't like doing this on my page. I never do this. But this, as Jewish people, it's such an important thing to hear in this moment, not when I'm calmed down. I want you to witness this, what I'm going through through because you could have gone through it and you might go through it and it would have been the same with you what they saw was a Jewish woman they didn't care the people in Target saw a colored woman with a child and even though she did what she did they helped her and ushered her out even though she was one million percent in the wrong and she was still there I thought she had left but she was still there long story short She told them that I reached over her kid, which I did. I reached over the kid. The kid is this short. She comes up to my knees. I reached over the kid. And I, they said that they saw on the camera, I turned around, almost walked into the kid, right? You know me, I walk into kids all day, right? Oh my God. Whatever the case is, they're like, she not only that in two days from now, she can call up the 70th precinct in Brooklyn. I could do the same for her. And she can get my name, she could get my number, my cell phone number, and she could get my address, which Baruch Hashem is not my address that I live at today. Baruch, Baruch Hashem. It isn't, Hashem was very merciful with that. She, I said, I don't understand, I'm ta- you saw she like assaulted. That's not assault, because she didn't hit you. I was like, she hit my hand. No, it's not assault. And that I'm filing a harassment against this person. Literally, I called you, cops. I called you because this woman slapped the phone out of my hand three times and threatened to knock my head off or in whatever language she chose. And what are you doing for me? In two days, you're giving her my cell number. Amazing. I'm so happy I called you. <sighs> Unbelievable. Guys, all I could say, and how the Target members were looking at me. I spent hundreds of thousands of dollars over the years at this place. Never again, Belina Dar. Never. And I am telling you guys, if you want to start a ban Target, if you want to start a boycott Target, the way these people were looking at me, like I was the bad one. And the cops even said... Well, you were holding up a video, you were antagonizing her, you were yelling and screaming. Guys, you watch the video. Am I yelling? Am I screaming? Am I antagonizing? It's so sad, like I said, that it's on days like now, when I feel like this, that I feel so Jewish, because, because, and that's why I'm on here like this. I thought a hundred times about coming on here like this, but I, I realized that it's such a powerful message and I hope you guys could feel like you were there with me. The cops didn't help. They did that complete opposite because now that woman is going to have my maiden name and she is going to have my cell phone number and where I used to live. And it's unbelievable. Like now, whenever I hear and think that all we have is Hashem to watch out for us and to watch over us and it's so sad that I had to go through something like this and realize no I don't feel so safe when I see a cop car they're not gonna help me they didn't help me I have it on film you think I have it on film I have it and yes I give you permission to share this story and with as many women and men 